I could do a stage dive right now. There's so many people. He could do a stage dive. Hey, this is Aaron from AWOL Nation. We're at Weenie Roast. Um, so more than 8,550 or less, you've heard sale on K-Rock. We've heard it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, though. Yeah, it's, you know, this is our hometown. This is our home state. So we're always proud to uh, get any sort of love from where we came from, you know. It took a long time. You know. Can we just reverse maybe 10 years when you and I first met at Magic Mountain? Yeah. Talk about the circumstances, if you would. Uh, someone handed me brownies that night that, um, <laughs> that, that I ate, and me. they tasted delicious. They were extra buttery, and then I waited in line for this ride called X, I think. Or right, X, right, yeah. And by yeah. the time I got to the front, I realized they weren't normal brownies. Right. And uh, I got inverted, and... and the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. And by inverting, but we you met mean for the first time. Yeah, that was the point. Yeah, that was we met. We met. Yeah. It was like ten years ago at Magic Mountain. Now let's uh, let's do. A, I some think Spinal Tap played that same stage. Did they in, really? In the movie, yeah. I don't know. If, uh, okay. It was a Spinal Tap style show for us. You know. That was fun. <laughs> new music from AWOL Nation. Where are you in terms of getting a lot of new music out on a record? It's funny you should say that. Um, I believe you guys actually played one of our new songs this morning. Um, oh, this morning. Very early. Okay. Um, it's called This Kid's Not Alright, and that came out on a video game soundtrack called Injustice. And then there's another song that came out in the Iron Man 3 soundtrack called um, Some Kind of Joke. And, uh, oh, right. Right on. I paid them very well to, to <laughs> act like they cared about that song. But yeah, so you know, there's a couple new songs out there um, for people to listen to, and of course, I'm always working on the next record. So, when the time uh, comes, that we'll release that as well. Nice. It'll be three years from now. No, 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 no. Twelve months it's or more really than twelve months. Here. What do you think? It is hot up here. Yeah. It's just. Uh, well, it's good that you know we're up always here for hot three hours. Here. And they give us so much shade. Right. So of course, yeah, we got yeah. going that for. Okay, I'm just gonna ask you some random questions. Would you rather go on a date with Dustin Hoffman as his character in Rain Man or as Tootsie when he was Dorothy Michaels and you had to make love? I, w I would be his date? Yes. Oh, um, probably with I would love to go on a date with Rain Man. Okay, Is with Rain Man. Because okay. you could count cards and make money? I would just learn something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, a lot of people are talking about Daft Punk. Are, are they on your radar? Do you like them? Are they? Yeah. In, in, yes. You know, I'm really excited for their new record because I think they had a lot of legendary um, musicians play on the record instead of it only being electronically based. And um, so I'm looking forward to see, see what they do. Yeah. All right. For sure. Um, let's see. Casino or Goodfellas? Weird. Um, I, 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 love the, um, I, I love the suits that Bobby De Niro wears in Casino so much. But... What, what was my other choice? <laughs> Goodfellas. Oh, well, you know, Goodfellas. I, I don't know. I, like, I do like Casino more than Goodfellas. I'm sure okay. most people would disagree, right. but that's what I feel. But I Goodfellas is, you know, groundbreaking. Of course. I told you to come to Vegas. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Should the Lakers re-sign Dwight Howard? No. Wow. Look at this. Well, what I would rather, th I would rather them trade Pau Gasol for, for, for his <laughs> brother, Mark. <laughs> I've always been a Marcus All fan, so that's that's my two cents. He's good. But All we'll, right, we'll see. Last two questions, and these aren't uh, these aren't meant to make you cry or any. What do you have a favorite TV show of all time that whenever it's on, like maybe it's Brady Bunch or maybe it's Lost or Dexter or Breaking Bad or Mad Men? I don't know. Of all time, I would maybe go with Seinfeld. Seinfeld. <laughs> Although I was a huge fan of Ross and Rachel's love and Friends. <laughs> I really was. When they first kissed, I I think I cried. <laughs> She's now, a monster? She's, she's a, a, lo lobster. a lobster. I don't know. I don't know. get it. I okay. do like lobster, though. You know, I've never tried lobster. You should. I've never tried a lobster or peanut butter. You should try lobster with her. Would you like to get lobster together? She has lobster in her purse. It's fresh. I can't afford lobster. All right, Aaron, last thing. Aaron from AWOL Nation. So you're, you're talking about Seinfeld. Would you rather hang out with Larry David or Jerry Seinfeld and go to a diner? Larry David. Right? Some Larry David fans in the house. <laughs> he's our hometown hero, no pun intended. He oh, is a, yeah. he, hey, he's our man from AWOL Nation. They, are, they have done so great, and they're playing today, and we appreciate them. Everybody, AWOL Nation. Thanks, guys. At the K-Rock Weenie Rose 2013.